Hey, I'm Kit. And I'm John. We've driven across this country a bunch of times. But this is our first time doing it in a motorhome. Come along with us on our RV road trip up the Southern California coast, where the next adventure is just around the corner. You ready, girl? It's a big gay world. So let's hit the road and go see it together. Last stop, San Luis Obispo with our friend Dennis. Definitely gave it away. <laughs> Which one's ours? I love the name, Mini Winnie. <laughs> now John's drag name is Mini Winnie. Oh my god, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> We've driven across this country so many times, but this is our first time doing it with an RV. And our first time going up the PCH, which is so beautiful. See so many different terrains in the course of two hours driving. I think anything about the Golden Coast is just like prime, you know? I think we're just like so blessed to live in California. My favorite part of these things are the names. They're so cute. Attitude, love her. Solitude, that's me during the pandemic. <laughs> I'm so excited to go to the Madonna Inn. I've never been. It's so pink, uh, <laughs> so I think you're gonna love it. Well, this is amazing. It's literally a queer dream. It's camp, it's kitschy, it's ornate, it's ridiculous. So welcome to Madonna Inn. There's some of our famous cakes for you to enjoy. Amazing. I'm excited, I have such a sweet tooth, so. I'm so excited to finally be here at the Madonna Inn. I've been hearing about it for years. Can you tell us the history of this place? Sure, so this was opened in 1958 by Alex and Phyllis Madonna, who are my grandparents. So I kind of grew up here. Um, you grew up in the Madonna Inn, like Eloise at the Plaza? That is what has been like the comparison, <laughs> so yes, I guess that's me. And they opened this as a roadside attraction halfway between San Francisco and LA. We have rock rooms, we have glitter or wallpaper rooms. Do you get a lot of LGBTQ visitors here? We do, we're a big pink hotel, so we draw, <laughs> we, we draw in um, beautiful people that love to express themselves, and our LGBTQ visitors are near and dear to our hearts. I hear that you're going to be horseback riding. You need some cake before you horseback ride so that you're fueled. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, sunshine. Let's see some wine. Who's thirsty? <laughs> First time at Biddle Ranch for everyone. Yeah. yeah. What's the story of Biddle Ranch? Yeah, so back in the day, we were actually a dairy farm before we were a winery. Our grounds look very expansive, but we're kind of a tiny family-owned company, which is really cool. What would you say San Luis Obispo is known for? Um, the slow life, you know, slow living. Everyone is really kind here. Everyone's really focused on enjoying life. You know, we've got the coast. We have a ton of hiking. We're really close to everything on the central coast here, and I think it's a little bit more casual, a little bit more laid back. Um, the slow life. <laughs> Love that. Cheers to the slow life. <laughs> to the slow, to the slow life. life. <laughs> You're walking so slow. <laughs> slow life. Slow life. <laughs> It was a cute day. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite trips that we've ever taken, actually. Southern California coast in an RV, from Malibu to Solvang to San Luis Obispo in five days. I can't believe this is right off the road. I can't believe this is still California. Wow. Oh, this is stunning. All right, should we get back on the road to LA? Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.